Dragon in My Pants is the fourth book in the There's a Dragon in My series. Um, basically it's about a, a nine-year-old boy called Eric Crisp uh, and he basically one day finds a, a mini dragon inside his Chinese takeaway, as I'm sure that's happened to many of us. Um, so Dragon in My Pants is the fourth book and basically it's about um, Eric and Pan going on a camping holiday, um, which draws from uh, my own experience as a child going on um, disastrous camping trips. Um, not involving mini dragons, but um, definitely some of the stories I had in, from those days uh, play a part in, in this one. And as you say, there's a few books in this series, the, the Dragon in My series. Where did, how did the concept come about, Tom? I, I think for me, it was, um, I was wanting to write a story um, kind of like in the mode of stories that I grew up with as a child, sort of like E.T. and things like that, where um, unusual friendships sort of occurred between um, a child and something random like a, an alien or something like that. And for me, um, a dragon was a was a good bet um, because, um, well, obviously um, a little dragon, a big dragon, probably wouldn't have worked so well. Um, so it was just that sort of um, trying to capture that. So um, was those kind of stories that I grew up with um, as a child. And for you, why is it important to have literature festivals like this one in Cardiff? Um, I think it's important um, for kids to get out and see um, an actual offer uh, in the flesh. Uh, from speaking to kids, um, I think sometimes it can be of the opinion that these things just sort of magic themselves into existence. Um, so I think from uh, my own experience in going out and meeting children um, and talking about my books, um, it's amazing to me how enthusiastic they get when they realise that um, I'm just someone who started off like, well, um, like themselves, um, just drawing, story, uh, drawing pictures or, or making up my own stories, um, and that can lead to some uh, something later on in life. And do you do the illustrations yourself in the book as well? No, absolutely not. I'm a terrible drawer. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're done by um, a lady called Sarah Horn, um, who is a professional illustrator. Um, she does all the drawings.